Hello and welcome to today's video from Property Frontiers. I'm joined with Ian Hudspeth, the head of Oxfordshire County Council. Um, and we're on site here at the Oxford Parkway project, uh, which is a new station that's going to be linking London uh, to Oxford directly and due to open on summer of the next year, I believe. 2015, yes. Brilliant. OK. So, Ian, obviously you've uh, been with Oxford Council since 2005. Um, you've been here nearly a decade, coming up to. How have you seen things change in, in Oxford? Well, Oxford has got such great potential. It's really got some world-class facilities here. We've got the uh, Diamond Light Synchrotron in the south, in Harwell. We've got uh, Cullen Fusion, again in the Science Vale area. Moving up through uh, Bicester, we've got the high technology motor engineering sports. Back into Oxford itself, we've got sort of the plant of the minis, five million minis produced since 2002. So there's really a lot of growth potential in Oxfordshire, and we are growing, and we want to keep that growth to make sure we've got the momentum and move forward with the economy. Okay, so projects like this um, are, I suppose, key to, uh, to the, the success of Oxford moving forward and growing for the planet you want to. Absolutely, there's half a billion pounds worth of rail investment in Oxfordshire over the next few years. And the reason they're coming here is they can see the growth potential. And having this facility linked in next to a good bus terminus and when we've got good car parking facilities, gives people the real choice to be able to get into Oxford or come and park here and go to London and beyond. And what, what, um, what areas do you think are going to benefit the most or change the most with the, uh, with the development of this station? Well, I think people's uh, travelling to London will change dramatically. At the moment, people go into the centre of Oxford, they clog up the Botley Road and cause all the problems. But having Oxford Parkway here with 55 minutes to London, people from the north of Oxford and the west of Oxford will be coming here to actually improve the facilities in Botley Road or get that flown a bit better. Mm -hmm. And people will be able to get easily into London from here in 55 minutes. Minutes. And what are the main areas do you think? So is Oxford, Killington's obviously just around the corner here. Are those the kind of main areas you think will, will, um, will benefit in terms of growth or is there other areas surrounding Oxford as well? Well, obviously all connectivity helps, but in particular Kidlington is going to become a bit of a magnet because people will see the ability to get from Kidlington right into the centre of London very quickly and into the centre of Oxford within sort of a few minutes. So mm -hmm. there will be big growth potential there. There's the Science Park coming on in Begbrook with the Innovation Centre uh, where we've got some funding from government which is going to produce more jobs, high tech, high quality jobs. And of course we've got Kidlington Oxford Airport as well, which uh, is perhaps an underutilised source that we could perhaps link in here and get a better connectivity and transport terms. And are, there, are there any other large scale infrastructure projects planned around the Oxford area? Well, as I said, there's about half a billion pounds being spent on the rail, the electrification. We've got a new station at uh, Oxford going along. We've got a new station at Didcot. We've got some improvements to the A34 at the Chilton Slips and at Milton Interchange as well, which are key for Harwell and Milton Park. And it makes that connectivity easier right across Oxfordshire through that arc from Bicester, Oxford down to the Science Vale area. Okay, and the Northern Gateway in particular is one thing I'm particularly interested in. Mm. It's going to create a lot of jobs around the area. Where are we at in terms of stages with, with that project? Well, that's just coming along to a master planning stage at the moment, and then we're coming out with more formal applications for the detailed design of it. But of course, it's not just about jobs, there are some homes being in there. And all these areas, we've got to make sure that we have jobs next to homes because actually if we can make sure that people can get to work easily and quickly that improves the congestion. Now that's the key point that I want to want to um, focus on. Oxford population is due to grow by 8.5% by 2021. Obviously there's a huge shortage at the moment. What plans have Oxford Council got to, to expand um, housing provision? Well, the Strategic Housing Market Assessment has just come out, which says we need another 100,000 homes to 2031. They'll be the responsibility of the local district councils, who are actually the planning authorities. We're working with them to find the best locations for the growth in housing and to make sure we have the correct infrastructure so people can get from homes to work as efficiently and as quickly as possible. Okay, okay great, thank you. And in terms of the future, obviously we're an Oxford-based company, we're yeah. keen on supporting you know, the Oxford uh, economy as much as we can. 
but we've seen a lot of change in Cambridge in particular. Um, how do you think Oxford can compete with Cambridge? Obviously, there's a lot of infrastructure uh, projects and inward investment for companies in Cambridge. Similar plans with Oxford at all? Or? Absolutely. Uh, we've got what's known as the Local Enterprise Partnership, which is business, working with the universities, working with the local councils, identifying growth areas, looking for jobs, and then putting housing in those locations and improving the connectivity generally to make sure that Oxford and Oxfordshire is the key international place for people to come. And historically, uh, Oxford property prices have followed London property prices, largely or just, mm -hmm. kind of just behind. But over the last few years, there's been a bigger gap that's increased as London prices have skyrocketed. Obviously, with the shortage of supply, I take it, you, you also believe that that's going to have an effect on Oxford prices in terms of driving prices up? Well, obviously, prices, it's about the market and if people feel comfortable about where they're working. That's always going to be the effect. But I should imagine locations like Kidlington are going to see a little bit of a boom because obviously the connectivity to Oxford, the connectivity to London are going to make that. So if with the increase in houses coming along, the increase in jobs, because the uh, strategic housing market assessment also identified 85,000 additional jobs. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be more jobs as well as houses. So the, the property market will keep up with itself. And uh, as a company, uh, we're all about property investment. So we've been concentrating really on a lot of the secondary cities, um, Birmingham, Manchester, yeah, and you know, Oxford. Um, do you think Oxford's got potential to become one of the leading UK secondary cities? I wouldn't say UK, I'd say global city. Because Oxford, if you think about it, it's a it's a brand name. Wherever you are in the world, everybody knows where Oxford is. They know what we are. We've got the, uh, good uh, universities. So people really do like Oxford as a brand. And what we should be looking at is competing, not just within the UK, not just within Europe, but actually at Shanghai, Sao Paulo, and Seattle, because they're the international brands that we're competing with on a global scale, not on a, a national scale. Brilliant. Okay, so it's on the app then, clearly. Absolutely, it's on the up, it's a great place to be and of course not just about jobs, about housing, we've got some fantastic uh, areas of natural outstanding beauty in the mm -hmm. Cotswold, Vale of Whitehorse, we've even got Bista Village where 6.5 million people come and shop every year, mm -hmm. so there's some really good locations, it's a great place to live, work and play. Okay. And do you think there's going to be a lot more people with this station in particular commuting to London? Because that's what, 55 minutes, it's going to surely open up the Cotswolds and the whole region around it. Well, I'd like to think the other way as well. People from London commuting into Oxford, mm -hmm. if we have the jobs and the workspace, so people can actually sort of come and use it both ways. I don't see it necessarily Oxford should just be a commuter dormitory town into London. I see it as being it's a functional economic area where people actually want to come and work. So it's a two-way process. Okay. Well, thanks, Ian. That's been very insightful. So for more information on all of our investment properties that we're currently promoting, including some exciting new ones in Oxford and the Kidlington areas, please visit our website www.propertyfrontiers.com or give us a call on 01865 202 700.